let's talk about boys no it's difficult to date indian guys in israel oh god you all are laughing because you have trauma and then we realize we're born you were like <laughs> childhood trauma and shit <laughs> Hey, let's just take five, please. I need to calm down. Being Daisy and single because it's it's hard. In wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, wait. After a lot of thought and a lot of discussion and a lot of intent, I finally decided to sit down with my Daisy friend, Sam. We decided to do like a. We don't have chai, but we have coffee today. So coffee pe charcha about. Yep. Just random things that Desi people do in Israel, and uh, we have been here. I have been here for four years. Stan, how long have you been here? Twelve now. Twelve years. So we thought it is about time for us to just sit down and uh, talk about stuff. So yeah, and we are introducing this as a series called as the Desi Gal Pals because we are Desi and gals and pals. <laughs> So thought I so we thought it'd be nice to like have a sit down a uh, video about stuff. We thought like the first topic should be friendship. Uh, how we started. No hon. So I came here when I was twenty five. So basically like an adult, and you know it's always hard to make friends as adults. Uh. And especially as a Desi person, I feel like we struggle so much to make friends generally outside the country. Cheers, by the way. Cheers to our friendship. friendship. How do you think? You have dealt with it. I feel like I'm still dealing with it. Okay. I think the initial few years were definitely tough. How old were you when you came here? I was 18. I just turned 18. Like I came in September and October was my birthday. Mm. So it was my 18th birthday. When did you make your first friend here? I think in my ulpan itself, there were two girls that I knew. Explain what an ulpan is for the audiences who don't know what an ulpan so, is. So ulpan is basically you have six months given to you by the country where you learn the language, you live with your family, and you get a how do you say stipend. on which you can run your household while you learning the language so it's pretty helpful that the government does that over here a lot of other families were also there russians from brazil from mm-hmm. mexico from like everywhere it was really fun uh but yeah after we passed out the classes i kind of went away one was ukrainian and one was russian i think mm-hmm. if i remember but we didn't keep in touch much you know life got different i moved cities and my parents also moved with me and stuff like that so we never kept in touch after that but it was really good to begin with it's so special to have desi friends abroad ah. you know when i was making alia a lot of people who were already here indians who had already made uh, who had migrated to this country and i was talking to them for uh, tips and tricks and hacks you know this is what they told me they were like you shouldn't be friends with indian people because <coughs> you're not going to learn the language Yeah, it's difficult. I agree, but although I feel like if you want to survive in this country and just like rant about random stuff, you need, you need a Desi friend. Yeah, you know that's how we became friends. Exactly. I'm gonna <laughs> tell you in short like how we became friends. So, I came here like four days before the first lockdown during COVID. I was still dancing back then. I don't dance anymore. I just dance for leisure now. But anyway, I was uh, I think teaching a workshop and then she saw it online and she's like. <laughs> you messaged me. You yeah, messaged on, me on randomly Facebook. on Facebook. Ah, I was like, Kirisha. "Hey, if you need anything, this is a fellow Desi in Israel. Yeah, this if you is need any you help, talk. like you, we want to, you know, get together, go for out for a coffee. I'm here for you. Yeah, and then click. <laughs> yeah, it's it. very, it's very we rare. We just met. <laughs> it, it's very rare that I click with someone because yeah. I'm very selective uh, with, like, I am friendly with people, but just being being friends with someone and being vulnerable and just like. You know, being Daisy with someone. I like, have a little of a dance bone. So the minute I saw her video, I was like, "Isko to message karna padega." Karna hi padega. <laughs> That's how she messaged me, and she got. And then we got in touch. And then after a few months, when the the lockdown got a little bit uh, easier, and it was less strict, then we got in touch. And then we met. And I, I think, think that was, was like, after the first vaccine. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. it was after the first vaccine, and then. We had an instant connection. Connection, yeah. And then we could tell like this is gonna go somewhere. And also like we are in a similar age group, so I think it was much yeah, more relevant. Yeah, she's thirty. I'm al- almost thirty. I'm thirty. Yeah, you're not. You can't even tell that they say, "My God, <laughs> some respect." Are you being so difficult? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like public, your profile page, I can't see it. What are you talking about? I haven't seen your profile. But okay, never anyway, mind. We are the same age group, so uh, <laughs> and plus, like we're Desi, we belong to the same city, we speak the same language. I just want to say, thirties, the new twenties, so like I mean, that is another topic. Without by the kids, way. the pros and the cons of having like Desi friends and non-Desi, non-Desi friends. friends. Okay, okay, Desi friends. Okay, yeah, cool. you can rant to them. You can cuss in Hindi and Marathi, and you can still <sighs> have the feel of it because you know when you cuss in English, it's like 
या वट एवर बट वेन यू कस इन हिंदी एंड मराठी और लाइक ब्रो यू फील मी लिटरली दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स इफ आई एम विथ हर ऑन अ वीडियो कॉल वी स्टार्ट द कॉल विथ वी डू वी डू वी डू दैट Talk about boys, no. Boys is later because we're talking about so single then, life. Okay. I, oh, non-desi friends. I think the thing with non-desi friends is like I think you have very uh, you get a new perspective. Okay, I'm talking for myself. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you get a new perspective when you meet people from all around the world. As much as people think they know about India, they don't know, and they have so many questions. And I feel like I can. Really educate them about where I come from and can about I, the Indian Jewish community. Can I just tell them they're still pare from the fact that Indians can be white or fair, fair or whitish. <laughs> I don't know where they get that concept from, but for them, I'm supposed to be brown, and because I'm not brown, I'm Latina. <laughs> they call me Latina too. I'm not. I don't. For them, you're like then you're not Indian. They start speaking Spanish. I'm like, Hindi me baat kar, bhai. Yeah, we're Maharashtrians. So which they also don't buy that I'm Maharashtrian ever even the Maharashtrians in India don't buy that I'm Marathi now so it's I cut it I think we should cut it <laughs> cut it <laughs> I think we should exclusively do a video, video in on Marathi, Marathi. yeah I think, I think that my Marathi be. is not up to the mark now no she speaks ekdam ekdam I have out. recently learned batwa gul and what dusra kya tha google kya go <laughs> I have a lot of non-desi friends, but it's difficult to kind of express your your real self around them, which is great in a way because you need to have a world view. But yeah, somewhere you feel that need to have you know somebody like this for your soul, so that you can just rant in Hindi sometimes or in Marathi or just mix the languages and be like, yeah. yes. Yeah. Now earlier in this video, we spoke about us being thirty, almost thirty, and being <laughs> single. So we're gonna talk about being desi and single because it's it's hard. In wait 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 wait. <laughs> wait wait wait. Oh my god, wait. I feel like because we come from the desi culture, we have been born and brought up and taught like you know you should find a partner for yourself by the time you're in I think your mid twenties. Everywhere when we were born in the nineties. No no no. I think it's a very Indian, also an Israeli culture, by the way. They encourage you to find a partner before ASAP. your twenty-five. I think. Yeah, before your twenty-five or like late twenties, and the mm-hmm. fact that you are still single is cringed upon. Uh, I don't know. Like I'm like half cringed, half <laughs> feeling free about it. <laughs> I'm not in a state of mind. Also, like I feel bad about it anymore. My parents are pretty chill about mm. me being in my thirties and being single and stuff. Mm. My mom is like, "Live your life, bacha. Hamlo ko to mila nita. Tum log hi karlo." <laughs> That's something. So yeah. I love my parents for that. I think. What me, about you? I think for me personally, I just like I have my days. Like I honestly, I would love to get married. It's not like I'm desperate or something, but I would love to have a partner and like of course, have a marriage and stuff like course. that. Of course. I don't want to get married right now, right now. But yeah, I yeah, plan yeah. to eventually, and I, right. I'm looking for somebody potential. Just last year, I got out of a very uh, major breakup. I'm still healing from it, but I feel like I'm ready to like find a a man for myself, uh, which is more like long term and like I don't uh, see marriage marriage yet because you know I'm just I'm still like it's difficult to date um, Indian guys in Israel. Oh God! Coming to getting attention from guys, what type of guys like hit on you? All kind of guys. Guys have a type, kya? <laughs> <laughs> Are you of course? Yeah, yeah. I mean like I don't know. I've had um, attention from a lot of guys, but then you are that kind of a woman you want that one specific guy yeah. to give you attention who does not give you attention. Hey, it's so that. fucked up. <laughs> the world could give me attention, but I I want that one particular guy and boy nahi deta. Oh, what's your type? I think I have a type. Anybody that's genuinely like motivated to everybody be Everybody has a type, please. No, I don't actually. Please. I everybody will Everybody has a type. I could will... be bold. Your type is a talent that I know. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't Italian. like pineapple on pizza. I do like a good Italian man. Uh, <laughs> I don't specifically have like a type in my head, but whatever comes along, I will take it as long as it's loyal. Of course, and it wants stays. A loyal man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know my type? Athletic. Yeah, because I work out and I'm fit. I want to be with somebody who is fit as well. I want to be with somebody who embraces my desi ness. Yeah. Is, because I am very desi, so I need somebody who's like. 
I think she's more desi as compared to me. Yeah, that she's I agree. She's Mumbai, yeah. I'm like half thadi kar, half, half Mumbai kar. Yeah. Even if he's not from the desi culture, I think it is very, very important. I also want somebody who is ambitious because I am ambitious, and I think like it'd be nice to be with somebody who who can raise you up yeah, and build an empire right, and with you. Right. I want to be able to exactly. That's I also be able my thing. To, um, provide value to his life and mm-hmm. like same for me. But for now, uh, San and I have each other, so yeah, we're building up each other, and it's great. Yay! <laughs> we might be soulmates, but it's kind of oh my god, yeah, taboo. What Could taboo? Could you be like if I was a guy and you were a girl, we could have hooked up. But girl, girl, हमारे घर में झगड़े हो जाएंगे bro. अगर दामाद नहीं मिला तो बहुत जरूर आ जाएगी. Reels on Instagram about these men looking for the women that we are. The yeah. Exactly the type. But of where are these men? But when you meet them, they don't want it. They find it as competition. You know, the male alpha ness comes out. Cutting it. Cutting it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Let just like shed some light on dating ways in India and in Israel. I think I've had the biggest culture shock. I mean, I knew mentally, but like now that I'm slowly. dating israeli boys and just like non indian boys i feel like it is so different as compared to dating white boys what do you think now or non desi i feel like oh my god i remember when you know we used to do those sneaky things when we were kids chup chup ke call karna ah. parents ke phone mein se call <laughs> That's karna that initial stages of love i know <laughs> but don't lie like, love you could like save their name with another with, a with another girlfriend's girlfriend name, name chai wala so and what not sneaky things going <laughs> going to the theater booking the side wala seat and like, just spend some, some time because pd exactly. is not really you know it's looked i remember having India. a boyfriend at school He used to sit one bench in front of me, and I used to kick him from behind. You know, like just as a pair. No, no, he would put his chappa on the floor and pair, pair, pair. Like that, just to get that, you know, oh chummy romantic feeling. You did <laughs> that. Yeah, then, then, how do you say that? Desk ke niche se se hath pakad na. Kind of cute shit. So desk ke niche se hath pakad hai. Oh my god. Or kya pakad na? Are are full on, like full on. crazy stuff. I think with like non-desi boys, it's a it's a little bit tougher for me because I've just started to. date non desi men so it's a little bit tougher for me because i'm like now trying to understand what they want what they don't like But, oh my god they're so strict on boundaries and as desi people we don't have boundaries we are just like eh challa kya tera mood kharab hai chal chal you know you can't do that oh with uh, people here they you really need to respect their boundaries like yeah. if sano is upset i would just come to a house and i'm like bro <laughs> chal I can't just I can't just go to anybody's house like that. Yeah, I can right. only do that with my Desi mm-hmm. friends and same applies to them. You have to be like extremely also. comfortable on like that level mm-hmm. with them. Yeah, exactly. That they will let you in. I think. Yeah. But I think so far so good. I'm learning so much, and she's giving me training because <laughs> she's been here longer and dated so many more uh, non-Desi <laughs> men. So I'm she's officially training. No, I've dated boys. I'm looking for a man for you. Uh, oh my god! It's, I think it's been a roller coaster ride for me. uh and my personality is i fall too hard too fast okay to i mujhe, used to to mujhe pyar ho jata hai bahut hi jaldi and it's ro- i just geet from jab we oh met oh my god wait 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 so now i don't fall for every guy but when i fall for someone like i fall for them hmm. and it's it's hard for me to like step back because i I've, i've not had this feeling in a very long time and i think right now in that um uh, I think that was the earlier that phase energy. for me, definitely. That one Raj Kumar will come, Raj Kumari will take it. Please, yeah, I'm not about But, Raj Kumar. Uh, now I have, uh, I'm like I have uh, taken up the motto of "Apna bidu, I am." Come, if you come, if you don't come, then <laughs> the feeling of like being attracted and having that physical, emotional. mental connection i've recently had it with someone but i think it's just bad timing this is our first video of uh, coffee pe charcha i i hope you guys had fun this was like our first take and this is madam's first video so please show her some love first video like ever i yeah, first i, video I ever. no one second she's done video she'll just not put it she she'll not make I it for dance with my friend and i like he used to post but i've never posted for my end like never she is great on camera i've been telling a bro like you need to be on camera but no finally finally <laughs> she's ready and i was like bro like you have to be on my channel so yeah show some so like love like i said girls uplifting girls i know a lot of indians are abroad but nobody's doing stuff in israel specifically so we thought it'd be nice to speak about those 
things mm -hmm. if you have any other topics like go down in the comment section um, leave your comments and we'll try and cover it from our perspective because i think it's very important for the indian audiences to understand mm -hmm. where we come from and yes we will see you next time bye <laughs>